What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Alexander here, back with some more Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Steady on. A little bit of distance away, but not too far away. Walk on, girl. Let's go. I know this is technically not how you're supposed to do it, but I don't care if it works. Doing fine, works, girl. it works. Keep moving. The thing I have to watch out for is when we get to the next area. You are. That's the way. Doing. Okay. Yep. That's the weapons are here. Same routine as before. The twopenny opens a vault, we robs it, and leaves the money in his storehouse. Look sharp, the boys are waiting. To the Bank of England. Yeah. Plutus is twopenny. <laughs> All right. We have, yeah, this one's pretty close. I'm gonna go ahead and get this sequence done if I can today. Well, I'm one of the two. But yeah. I was going to say something, but I don't forgot. You know, I could have had a gun situation with uh, Ubisoft. Now, they did upload the well, Assassin's Creed Valhalla trailer a few days before I recorded this with the female Ivar. Or Ivor, Ivar. Could be in the wrong either way. Uh, but, uh, they, they, they uploaded it with a different name and it was just they didn't, they didn't put a soundtrack which I well one person did bring up that it's probably uh with that because they also released the soundtrack that day I had to run the time whether, whether or not that is the actual reason we'll find out later because everything comes out eventually Every dark secret someone hides, it eventually gets brought to light. But I do hope Ubisoft does better in the future. I do still love their games and all, just that whole situation with that, with that taste in my mouth. Especially the stupid comment of women don't sell video games. There's quite a few that have, that are very successful. And only have few players. Well, what say you? You're not gonna like it. Now, see here. I am graced with the Abilene family's robust constitution. Two pennies robbing the Bank of England. <laughs> the governor of the bank. I think I might need to sit down. There's no time for that. Bastard's probably deep in the vault by now. However you get in, I don't want to know. Of course. But, do you know how I can get in? <laughs> However you get in, I don't want to know. <laughs> the bank is designed to protect England's gold reserves. A fortress, guarded under lock and key. There is the bank manager, Mr. Osborne. Only he is allowed free access to the vault. You can spot him near the entrance. And, oh yes, one man keeps a close watch on the vault door. He watches it like a hawk. If he sees you, he's sure to see it. The guard captain, Gus Howard, knows Tupiny well. He is in on this, I'm certain. Mr. Fry, please. Use discretion. The only way to implicate Tupini is to catch him in the act. 
Do not jeopardize him. No big displays. This is the Bank of England. If you encounter any trouble, I'll be in the atrium. In disguise. He's gonna be dressed as a maid. I have a feeling. I don't know what he actually dresses as. He won't be leaving that vault. Got going on here. We see our way in. We get over there. Kill, must know two things weakness, kill off the head of security. Gotcha. Whoops. Alright. Fancy. Fitting for Tupany's tomb. The official bank door is leaving soon. Over. Now it can't be sealed. Where is Tupany? Please! I have a family. He's in the vault ogling his priceless paintings. Fortunately, I can't let you live. <laughs> if I let him go, I guess I. I could have let him know, I could have knocked him out. Where's... Closer. Let's see how scary you are out in the open. No thanks. Found anything? He looks familiar. Hey. Did you see me? Ah, oh, please don't harm me. I'll assist you. What would you have me do? I rather fancy a private tour of the vault. Wait, so can I just... R right this way, sir. The records are stored in here. Wait, uh... seriously? Right, you're gone. Keep an eye on that fellow. Night night. Can 
we need to get to the unique kill opportunity. That's the one I want. Damn your clumsiness! We will count everything later. Honest. Forget I'm here. Go away. Shove off. Anonymous. Damn your clumsiness. There we go. You've stolen your last shilling from the people of London. Those animals squander their savings. We are the experts in investment. Nothing would be built or improved. Nothing would rise above the muck without our hand guiding. No creating the future. They benefit as much as they're worth. It is their city, not yours. Without our investments, there would be no city. For the path of the dead. Now time to leave. We leave now. We can heal. Bye bye. Oh, I didn't actually. Yes, yeah. Well, that's right. I'm gone. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll be gone from here by the time you get up here. them all for robbing the people of England. The Bank of England is closed until further notice.
Rodin. The currency a laughing stock. Inflation out of control. Tupany brutally murdered. And yet Parliament does nothing. The bill will be defeated, sir. That buffoon Israeli shall be taken care of. It has been arranged, upon my honor. Your honor carries little weight. How dare you, sir! The poor people of this but enough. Today I granted a significant rise to my staff in order to counter inflation. What? I would supply all of London if I could. Meanwhile, you sit in your club and wax poetic with promises your honor cannot pay. Your family's fortune, however. I wonder what they would offer to keep your record out of the newspapers. About the same as Disraeli would offer for your balls, I'd wager. But let's be generous. Why limit ourselves to one or the other when we can have it all? What say you, sir? <laughs> Shall I come collect? No more dallying. The halls of Parliament must be free to govern. Again! Understood? You may see yourself out. All right. A letter. For me? Now let's see what unlocks. Yeah, I'm on. The infinite loading, come on now. Sequence seven, we have two more sequences to do. Jacob and Evie have killed two of Crawford Stark's agents, Philip Twopenny and Lucy Thorne, but the Templars are far from defeated. A conspiracy to assassinate the Prime Minister takes Jacob to the House of Parliament, and despite Evie's triumphs over Lucy Thorne, the of the Shroud of Eden takes a dramatic turn. Dear Mr. Starrick, Disraeli's death will stall Corrupt Practices Act indefinitely. Gladstone will be far more pliable. May the father, etc., etc., be. So Sterick's got his finger in politics, has he? I need to enter the Sinopian Club and find out who B is. Tread delicately around Parliament. As if I don't usually. Your indiscretion at the Bank of England caused British currency to nearly collapse. Nearly is the operative word. Speaking of collapses, what of the key you found that unlocks very little? Henry took it for research. I am confident that the vault is ours. Nearly ours, Evie. Nearly. A letter. Such a prick. For me? All right, we got two missions with Evie here. And one with Jacob from the looks of it. But yeah, I'm going to end this here. So thank you all for watching. And I'll s actually, before we end this, let's check out both the weapons. Yeah, that's only level 7, so that's going to be crap compared to this. The belt, which is, of course, level 7. And then the outfit. Uh, I'm not sure. Drawer and the Baron's Ordain's finery. I guess that does kind of work. We'll go with that. That brings up 20%. Anyways, though, now I'm winning this here. So thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.